So from where you guys started and now, what were your aspirations, you know, or, or dreams, you know, long term or, or short term? Did you have any specific aspirations? I mean, I guess my personal goal is just to play, play in a band and be able to do it, you know, full time. We all hold day jobs and we do this also. So we're go to our day jobs, we're after day jobs, go to the gym, then go to practice, get home late night, one in the morning, get up, go to work, go to the gym. You know, kind of just do this and then take off for a week and a half to two weeks, go drive around the country, come back, do it all over again. Uh, I don't know, it's just, I love, I love to travel, I love to play, and I love to meet lots of people. So if I can make that, if I can ditch the day job and make this like a, my life, that that would be my, my goal for it. And to, I guess, reach people too. Yeah. Which is really cool. We get a lot of people that come up to us after shows and everything that I was like, oh, your song means this to me or help me through this. And, and uh, she gets letters and emails and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I, um, I mean, when I went into it, I, I never knew I could sing. Um, I had a horrible stage fright. I wasn't, I was always very social, but I wasn't really a people person or a team player. Let's just say it was kind of difficult. Um, <laughs> I was very difficult. To say the least. I was a troubled, I was a troubled youth. Whatever. <laughs> Getting over things. But um, you know, being in my band was such a was such a blessing because uh, you know, um, I had such a hard time. I had such a hard time growing up and um, really communicating what was going on with me. And uh, the band kind of forced me to learn how to work with others. Um, stop kind of hiding all of my crap and uh, the really amazing thing I guess about um, fronting uh, and you're, you're singing something is like, you know, I believe there's such power in words like life and death or the power of the tongue. It's a statement I really, really stand by and, um, you know, when you're up there and you're speaking to people, it's like if I have one opportunity to say something to somebody, what is it going to be? I may never see these people. Anymore. Is it going to be a positive message? Is it going to be, you know, I completely dislike myself and there's no hope. You know, for me, I really didn't have a lot of aspirations. I didn't know if this was going to go anywhere, but I I was already kind of at the bottom. I had no idea what to expect, so it was what it was. Um, but it was really cool because I kind of learned how to, how to be a better person through um, singing and people's like, hey, you remind me of this, or I like when you do that. I was like, it's not really what I, you know, what I want to be in life. So I was kind of tailoring it through through that and being able to work with them. And um, Thank God they always had so much patience with me at times, and other times they cracked a little bit to get the life together. That was awesome. But, get in the band. But it's 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 uh it's a real big yeah, I have a very hard time doing it. It's like a cat trying to take a bath. It's not working. <laughs> but um it's really cool because um you know you go to all these different states and you don't know who's connecting to your stuff. And uh, you know, people will come up to you, they write you letters and they express how much um, your songs have gotten them through this and that and, you know, you, you never think like oh, yeah, that could have an effect on the world. It's on a small scale. I mean, I think I'd rather I would rather do that than anything else. So that is why I never quit. <laughs> um, can I interrupt you real quick? Um, could you do it all try? It's terrible. No, no, it's great. <laughs> you can just you can just talk with Tyler and you can try not to look. Oh, okay. Just, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Here are my sights. Um, I'm not so pretend like right? I'm not here. Yeah. Okay. They know what time it is. There's a man like, behind. Do one of those like. Yeah. Yeah, right about like, maybe you were, I might have to, it'll, you know, it's a dream of mine. It's necessary, it's okay. <laughs> you want them to redo that? Or? Yeah, yeah, let's, let's <laughs> burn it. Alright, 